What if Arthur stayed at perfect weight for 30 days? So I've explored the weight system before in Red Dead Redemption 2. I've gotten fat, I've gotten skinny. Now perfect weight is at the very middle of the chart that Arthur can achieve, level 10. So let's try to see if we can keep it for 30 days. Now the problem is we're not at perfect weight right now unfortunately. I'm currently average. I am exactly level 11 on the scale. So Arthur's got to lose a tad bit of weight here to be perfect. He's a little, he's just a little chubby. So yeah, I guess I'll just starve myself for like a day or two. Hmm, okay, I see I saw the little symbol. Did it work? Yes! Boom, that was easy. All right, look at that. Perfect weight. Oh, that's just glorious. Zero percent effect to your cores. I love it. Here we go, challenge starts now. 12 p.m. exactly. So, just to give you a, a good indication, this is what Arthur looks like at perfect weight. I mean, wow. Yeah, I mean, look at this. That's a perfect specimen if I've ever seen one. I smash. All right, so in order to keep perfect weight, I'm gonna have to do absolutely everything in my power to not gain weight or lose weight. So I think I'm gonna need a perfect diet and I'm gonna need a perfect exercise regimen. Okay, so what can we do? Well, let me see here. Oh, do we have any food? Oh, we don't have any food. Oh, we have our cigarettes. Oh God, no, that's not gonna work. Are you kidding me? I'll lose weight so fast. No, 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 I need, I need food. Give me the food. All right, come on horse, take me to the food. Uh, let's just buy all the healthy stuff. Nothing too calorific. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking bread. Oh yeah, fruit, pineapples. All right, there we go. Now we're absolutely stacked. Uh, this year stores my whole life. So I just had a corned beef. So, so far we've consumed three calories. Now I've just got to make sure I burn three calories and I should be fine. But if I end up burning more than three calories, and I'm gonna have to eat more to keep it balanced out. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So I need to do something that requires very little energy. And of course, the best thing is some good old fishing. Okay. This will take very little calories from you, Arthur. All right, well, we passed some good time. Uh, did, did our weight change? Please tell me it stayed the same. Yes. All right, we're still perfect weight. Good job, Arthur. All right, I think I'm gonna take a nap now because 30 days are gonna take forever to pass if I just stay awake the entire time. So let's just have a nice nap. Just have a couple more corned beefs before I go to sleep and let's sleep till the morning. All right, you rest well, Arthur. Please tell me we're still perfect. Yes! All right, so far so good. Okay, I think it's working. I think my plan is, is gonna be to take five corned beefs a day and just try to be as inactive as possible. I think that's gonna keep my calorie deficit as, at a zero. All right, we're officially two days in. Oh no, I saw the symbol. Oh God, no, please. No, oh no, we lost perfect. Oh God, no, where are we? Oh God damn it. <laughs> we're back to 11 again, are you serious? This is some garbage. These corned beefs betrayed me. They were more calories than they said. Oh, fatty food, all right. Crap, 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 all right. We gotta get back to perfect weight quickly. Arthur, run. Run! Oh! All right, screw the horse. We're gonna have to run. Sprint, sprint. Burn the calories, buddy. Oh god, we gotta get back to perfect. Please, please, god, let this happen. Please, please, please. Yes, this is calorie burning time, Arthur. You can feel it. All right, I ran all the way out to the swamps. Please tell me we lost weight. Oh, thank god, he's perfect again. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was close, okay. So the salted beefs betrayed me. I mean, the corned beefs betrayed me. I don't know what it was about them, but they make me gain weight like crazy. Fine, we're gonna have to find something else to eat then. Either that or we increase our exercise. What? It's gotta be something. Six and a half hours later. Oh, wait a minute. I'm such an idiot. I was eating when Arthur wasn't even hungry. No wonder I gained weight. Okay, so my cores were full, right? When Arthur's cores are full, he is he's not hungry. He's a full he's a full boy. So I was feeding him salted beefs when he wasn't even hungry, and that's why I gained a slight bit of weight. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still eat, right? Because if I starve, Arthur will start to get underweight again. But I'm only gonna eat when his cores get low. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Okay, I've been waiting here for literally days, currently day five right now, and finally my cores have been depleted pretty much to the max. Uh, just been standing here. So now we can eat to maintain our weight. All right, 
Here we go, Arthur. Just get your cores back up. But not all the way, though. We don't want to overeat. There we go. All right, let's go check out our weight. Let's see here. Oh, crap. Oh, no. We're underweight. Oh, God, no. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. Okay, I guess just not eating for a few days apparently is a very bad idea, but I thought you were just supposed to wait for your cores. What the hell? We're really underweight right now. I think we fell all the way to three. How is that even possible? Okay, okay, eat, eat, eat. Arthur, quick. Oh god, no, this is bad. Um, damn it, maintaining perfect weight is so complicated. All right, eat, 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 eat. Eat like Nikocado avocado. Crack weed and milk. Just give me whatever you have, please. I just, I gotta stuff Arthur, like, quick. You better put the extra calories in this one, Pearson. Okay, so I've got a problem. It's currently nighttime, and all the shops are closed. I'm out of food, so I can't get any more food. No, I can't wait till morning. My weight might change in between now and then, and that's not acceptable. Okay, I think I have an idea. I'm gonna go out to the swamps and just eat alligators. Those give by far the most calories anyway. It's risky, but I'm left with no choice. Come here, alligator. Gotta get this big game meat. It's a whopping 10 calories in that stuff. I'm gonna eat like 10 of these. That'll be 100 calories. Which isn't a lot in real life, but in the Red Dead, but in the Red Dead universe, that's basically the equivalent to like 10,000 calories. <laughs> Arthur's literally, we're speed running the 10,000 calorie challenge. Oh God, I love this game. All right, I really hope that does the trick. And for the moment of truth, Yes, okay, we got back to perfect, thank God. Okay. <sighs> okay, we really gotta figure this out. So, it turns out that just eating randomly and guessing is a terrible idea in maintaining perfect weight. And eating only when your cores are empty is also not good because Arthur ends up starving and loses a crap ton of weight. <sighs> So I've got to figure out the perfect diet. So after many in-game days of experimentation, I think I finally figured it out. So here's what I do. I wake up in the morning at 6 a.m. having perfect weight. I immediately go downstairs and get breakfast. So for breakfast, you're getting a prime rib. Now this is a meal. That'll keep Arthur full for most of the morning and make sure that he doesn't lose any freaking weight like he tends to do a lot. Then you go about your day and you don't eat any- you don't actually end up eating until about 11.30. And then, you give yourself two snacks. One canned apricot- and one cheese wedge. Then at around 2.30, I have my second main meal. Plain venison and a cup of coffee. Then at around nearly 6 p.m. it's time for the evening snack, which I have figured is a chocolate bar. Delicious. And then finally dinner, which is at 9 p.m. And for this I'm going straight back to the saloon where I had breakfast and I'm getting another prime rib. A prime rib for breakfast and for dinner. I don't know what it is about this combination, but it works. And then after this, after all that, you go upstairs, get out of my way, and now we come back to bed and we basically just sleep eight hours until the morning. And we should wake up at perfect weight. All right, let us see. And boom, would you look at that? Perfect weight, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I figured it out, finally. So I've gotta repeat that diet every single day. And now that I think I finally figured it out, I'm gonna start the 30 days over again and I'm gonna do this perfectly for the next 30 days. I'm not gonna miss a single meal, Arthur. Now, come on, let's go down and have our prime rib for breakfast. <laughs> All right, so this is the 29th night. All right, so I've managed to maintain perfect weight so far, somehow. It's been, I mean, I've just been very strict about the diet and um, been pretty active physically. But yeah, let's just, now I just gotta sleep till morning and we're done. I swear to God, you better not lose weight, Arthur. I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, here we go. What a beautiful day. All right, moment of truth. Yes, sir. Boom! We kept it! Oh, thank God. Okay. Good. Good. Consistency. Now we can... Now diet's over, Arthur. You can eat whatever the hell you want now. 